today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favourite moves to do in a photo shoot. As always, make sure you have been safely taught how to do these moves before giving them a go. Swing out from a climb. This is one of my favourite moves I've ever done for a photo shoot and I did it in a skirt. So as the legs come back, hopefully that's the moment that you're going to be able to capture that it looks like you're really, really flying. If you don't want to climb up, you can do it a little bit lower. Just make sure you have enough room to swing your legs without kicking the floor. Any seated move, like a layout or a plank. I always love these ones, I think they look so pretty and if you have a nice little costume or outfit, it really shows it off as well. You can do this one low down or high up the pole to give you different perspectives as well. A climb pose. I really like having one leg straight and one leg pulled up towards my bum and leaning my chest away from the pole. This one is beautiful two-handed or one-handed and you can look in loads of different directions and you can have your chest further away or closer to the pole. So you can really play around with this and make it your own. Who doesn't love a lunge? One of my favourite photo shoot moves is always a lunge and you can do this in heels or in bare feet and it looks beautiful either way. It's nice to play around with different leg shapes, so either your inside leg or your outside leg forward. And that back leg can be on a tiptoe or a heel, of course, if you want to. I tend to reach away from the pole with one arm if I can, because I think that finishes the line. But obviously you can play around with wherever you want to put that hand. A little chair pose. I like this one as it shows off your strength, but if you're having a slidey day, you can also do this one low down the pole, which I think almost looks a little bit nicer. You can also look to the floor or to the camera or wherever you like for this one. So again, play around with angles and see what you prefer. Any spin that you can slow down in a... I really like the whoosh of a spin. Sometimes the spin can be too fast to make it look really pretty on a photo shoot. So it might be worth playing around with different spins and see what you can slow right down to get a good angle or speed up to get a really flowy look. A side seat or a sitting bed. This is always one of my go-to moves. It's nice and easy to hold for a photo shoot so you can do loads of different angles for it and hopefully it's not too exhausting. You can do it one-handed or two-handed and if you do it one-handed, it's up to you where you put that outside hand or where you look for this one. Ballet hook. Once you've hooked your inside leg, it's much easier to balance on a flat foot but obviously it looks nicer on a tiptoe. So it might be worth playing around with different angles and different arm positions to see what you prefer, but hopefully you'll find something that you love. A leap. Again, this is one of my favorite moves. You don't have to be able to handspring to be able to do a leap and you can keep your leap as low as you want to. Try and hold the top point even if it's just for a portion of a second because that is when you can get a beautiful picture out of this one but it's really cool because you can keep it as low as you want to. Any headstand shape. One of my favorite headstands is a bow and arrow because it makes you look so flexible. You obviously have to pick which leg you want to split on and which side you want the camera to be for this one. So you might have one split that looks a little bit nicer. It's definitely worth seeing if you prefer the leg on the pole to be behind the pole or in front of the pole and maybe change your body position so that you're on your good side split. Or if both splits are fantastic, then it doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked them. And if you want a few more moves for a photo shoot, I've got another video for you as well.